A cryogenic rocket engine is a rocket engine that uses a cryogenic fuel or oxidizer, that is, its fuel or oxidizer or both are gases liquefied and stored at very low temperatures. These highly efficient engines were first flown on the U.S. Atlas Centaur and were one of the main factors of NASA's success in reaching the Moon by the Saturn V rocket. Rocket engines burning cryogenic propellants remain in use today on high performance upper stages and boosters. Boosters include ESA's Ariane 5, JAXA's H2, and the United States Delta IV and Space Launch System. Topic: <laughs> Cryogenic propellants. Rocket engines need high mass flow rates of both oxidizer and fuel to generate useful thrust. Oxygen, the simplest and most common oxidizer, is in the gas phase at standard temperature and pressure, as is the simplest fuel hydrogen. While it is possible to store propellants as pressurized gases, this would require large, heavy tanks that would make achieving orbital spaceflight difficult if not impossible. On the other hand, if the propellants are cooled sufficiently, they exist in the liquid phase at higher density and lower pressure, simplifying tankage. These cryogenic temperatures vary depending on the propellant, with liquid oxygen existing below minus 183 degrees Celsius 90 K and liquid hydrogen below minus 253 degrees Celsius 20 K. Since one of more of the propellants is in the liquid phase, all cryogenic rocket engines are by definition either liquid propellant rocket engines or hybrid rocket engines. Various cryogenic fuel oxidizer combinations have been tried, but the combination of liquid hydrogen LH2 fuel and the liquid oxygen LOX oxidizer is one of the most widely used. Both components are easily and cheaply available, and when burned have one of the highest enthalpy releases in combustion, producing a specific impulse of up to 450 s at an effective exhaust velocity of 4.4 km per second. Construction The major components of a cryogenic rocket engine are the combustion chamber, pyrotechnic initiator, fuel injector, fuel cryopumps, oxidizer cryopumps, gas turbine, cryo valves, regulators, the fuel tanks, and rocket engine nozzle. In terms of feeding propellants to the combustion chamber, cryogenic rocket engines or, generally, all liquid propellant engines are either pressure-fed or pump-fed, and pump-fed engines work in either a gas generator cycle, a staged combustion cycle, or an expander cycle. The cryopumps are always turbopumps powered by a flow of propellants through gas turbines. Looking through this aspect, engines can be differentiated into a main flow or a bypass flow configuration. In the main flow design, all of the propellants pass through the gas turbines before being injected into the combustion chamber. In the bypass configuration, the propellant flows are split, the main part goes directly to the combustion chamber to generate thrust, while a small amount of propellant is separately combusted to drive the turbine. Topic: <laughs> LOX plus LH2 rocket engines by country. Currently, six countries have successfully developed and deployed cryogenic rocket engines. Topic. Comparison of first-stage cryogenic rocket engines <laughs> Comparison of upper-stage cryogenic rocket engines <laughs>